This video is going to be a cooking and farming guide, mostly how the cooking stuff works and all that stuff going on. But this food right share is what I think is good for the most part. And I use a lot of this pretty often. Mostly going to be stuff like the smoked heat, the smoked meat, the smoked dried cubed meat, all that kind of stuff. And just in case it gets confusing, when it says smoke dried, it's actually dried and then smoked. The main thing we're covering first is going to be the basics, such as the drying rack, smoker, pickling jar, fermenter, the cage, and the pin. For the drying rack, you'll put a bunch of items in of one pure item. So pure being just used gym rice in this case. And it will basically double the effects. It goes from 15 and 8 to 13 and 16, but it costs it increases the cost of the calories, going from 40 calories, that yellow chip right there, to 60 calories. And the reason why I say pure is if I mix gym rice with this millet, it goes to just being not good. I get 19 HP boost versus what I was going to get the 30 HP and then the 16 recovery. So don't mix stuff. Always use one pure item and always try and max it out. The yield is always going to be three maximum of an item. It may cost you more of an item to dry it. So in this case, millet, don't dry millet, but just for purposes, it cost me 13 to dry that. And some seeds that are pretty good, so in this case, uh, sesame seeds, those cost a lot as well, but they're pretty good to dry. Now, that's how the drying system works. Moving on. We have the pickling. So pickling, never use dried stuff. I know we just dried stuff and you can use dried, but don't. It's just an in increased cost by a lot for no reason. Always use the weakest variant of an item. So for this reason, I'm going to use millet. Millet's the weakest grass. From there, you could also use unmilled rice. Unmilled rice is not crazy either. But I use the weakest because it gives you the same buff. In this case, earth boost 12, wind boost 12, HP 20. Gym rice will give me the same thing. Dried gym rice gives me the same thing. Always use the weakest thing when it comes to pickling. And for spices, the best spices are going to be any of these peppers, which the peppers do the exact same thing. So this pepper is chili pepper. I get 2012-12. Prickly ash, 2012-12. It's about the icon. The icon is the only thing that matters when it comes to seasonings, aside from if you're trying to eat them. Now that's pickling in a nutshell. Hopefully that makes sense. Moving on. Then we have fermenting. Fermenting is how you get some spices for pickling. Not all of them though. When it comes to fermenting, it's good to ferment, again, the weakest item. Always the weakest item. For everything but the drying rack, use the weakest item. And I guess the smoker to an extent. Smoking is bad, but in this case, you're going to smoke some food and it will just give you another boost. If it's dried, if you, if you smoke base food, again, smoke the weakest base food. If it's just raw food, you smoke the weakest and you'll get, in most cases, Crypt Master. So grass gives me 9 HP, 2% Crypt Master. Uh, turnips, I get 1% Crypt Master. Don't smoke turnips by themselves. They're not very good. Meats, honestly, isn't that bad to smoke by itself because you get 10 HP, 3% uh, attack boost, and Crypt Master. And it only costs you 45 calories, so you could eat two of these, and then you could pop a chili pepper or a prickly ash pepper and get Crypt Master and, and Boost Fury. It's, it's not bad to smoke stuff by itself. It won't be the best buff, but it's very cheap and effective because smoking is a one-to-one -one ratio. You put one item in, you get one item out, which I really wish in the future they make it a bit more streamlined and faster. Just give me less smokers. But I can put more things in it because my God, opening a menu, clicking an item and clicking start and then confirming. It gets to be a little tedious. I'm not going to lie to you. But yeah, smoking is important. All It's best to smoke in most cases, dried stuff, dried or pickled. So I don't have any pickled stuff right now. Actually, I do. I have this. This is pickled miso fish. It increases the buffs even more in most cases. Most of the time, it'll add a little bit extra to all the buffs. Not always, but most of the time. So miso fish goes from 11, 10, 6 to 14, 12, 7. And then dry gym rice goes from 30, 16 to 32, 19. And the calorie cost does not increase if it's already been processed. Dried is being processed. Pickled has been processed. But raw food, the calories will decrease or increase. It depends. Do they all decrease? No. Most of them decrease, though. Anyway, now we have the pet cages. I already have some here, so I'll just go TP over here. You don't really want to build too much stuff in Minoto, which is the main base, because you don't really get a whole lot to actually build. I didn't cover this yet, but when it comes to using these items, this equipment, and all this stuff in this menu, it will cost you on the dragon pit capacity. So dragon pit capacity in Minoto is capped at 100 for each currency, which is whack. Another thing I didn't cover is, you see how I have like this regular cabinet and then this red cabinet 
Yeah, they do the exact same thing. The only difference is one costs me wood, I guess, which I know it's a leaf, but I think it's called wood in this game. It's very confusing. And then the other one costs me fire. That is the only difference. It just means I can have more pits out. Because if I just use one currency, the max smokers I can have is three. But if I use both currencies, I can have six. So all it does is just change the cost of the currency. So here we have the, uh, these are the pins, right? You don't really use anything here to get food, I don't believe. These are just for currency. Like these give me like gold coins. It's like 100 gold, nothing crazy, but it's nice. Now the cages, you can put pets in here that give you food. So these nerds give me back nut. This item I think is cracked. 10 HP and 2% destruction. If you dry it, it gives you 18 HP and 4% destruction. And if you smoke it, it will give you 20 HP, 4% destruction, and only cost you 45 calories. I kind of like it. I'm not sure what it is. I like destruction, bro. I like sharpening cells a little bit in Dauntless 2. Big damage. In this game, I don't know if it increases your damage output numbers, but you break stuff and it feels good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go to an actual base. We've covered the basics. Let's go to a base to talk a, a bit more about some other stuff you can do as well. Because there's a little bit more than just the cooking equipment. There's also the food shrines and then the material gatherers. And in this area, I do not have any food shrines. The food here sucks. It's like Subway McDonald's. It's kind of mid, not a fan. It ain't no Jersey Mike's, all right? The Jersey Mike's and the Whataburger, that's more in this area. Haragosumi Way and the Akukur Canyon are the only places I have food shrines because of the food they give. But in any case, as we can see here, we have some we have some stuff going on. We have some stuff drying and whatnot. And, uh, these material collectors all they give you is raw materials no food you don't get there's no shrine for meat there's no shrine for any of that stuff i forgot one thing the fish collector this costs you 35 water and you can only use it in water so in this case i only have this in this one in this one area which is uh I, I, the name of this place is hard to say but i can't even see it it's this far right biome area and it's right next to my base where all my other stuff is it can give you nine or ten fish. It depends. Like, there's like a, a buff you can get where it gets like one extra fish. I wouldn't force that buff. It's not that good. And in this case, I have a lot of fish. So I might end up just selling it. But you also have cabinets, by the way. Cabinets you can store stuff in. These regular cabinets, you can, you can put wherever you want into. These red cabinets, you can only put raw materials in. Raw being either full on raw or it hasn't been smoked yet. Because in this case, I got pickled stuff, I got dried stuff. Everything that's not smoked basically can go in there. But in every area, I do have the max amount of collectors that let me put. In some areas, it's less, and others is more. It's not really dependent on the uh, fire pit at all. But in this case, where's it at? I have I have the, the dragon pit capacity. It cost me 60. I have 90. But I'm at the maximum for the food shrines and these material collectors. But for food shrines, the reason why I keep my food shrines in Hagasumi Way is because they give me sesame seeds, they give me millet, they also give me golden sesame seeds, and they give me peppers, which I need for pickling. And the reason why I have food collectors in Akiku Canyon is because they give me gym rice. You don't have to go buy these every single time, and do not make it a point to go here every time those are up. Those collect things pretty damn fast. You'll spend so much time doing that. The main thing they're there for is occasionally I'll go buy them and get materials and I can either use them for crafting or I can sell the extras. And it's a decent bit of gold. But in in-game, you will get gold just fine by just fighting monsters. If I fight... Where's this guy at? Like If I, if I fight this Ember Plume, I get 3k gold because each of these coins is 1500 gold. And this fight can be like a 5 minute fight if not faster if I'm just not being a dumpster can. Anyway, that's the video. Appreciate you for watching. I do stream at twitch.tv slash Odo. Check it out if you want to. I'd appreciate the view and have a good day or night. Peace.